Welcome back everyone to Samson Run. I didn't put out a daily yesterday. It was a blue baby run. I didn't do it. But I didn't I didn't do very well and I wasn't really into it and my commentary was not up to scratch and oh fuck. Uh, so I just thought, you know what, screw it. We don't have to put one out every day. We haven't so far. I didn't feel too badly about it, but I was super salty about how poorly I did on the run, so uh, I sort of left it behind. But we're on a Samson run today. We have to go to, that looks like, I'm guessing that's the cathedral. Ah, uh, maybe that's uh, the lamb, actually. So, as usual, Sam... Samson's uh, uh, take damage on purpose type character, and a daily run is avoid taking damage if you can type game, so... Oh, that's handy. Small rock is a great start. So, as usual, do we bother with the Samson... Great. <laughs> um, do we go with don't take too much damage? I think probably don't take too much damage. We seem to be doing okay right now. And the spirit heart helps. Probably should have picked it up after this particular monstro fight right here. But uh, I'm not going to struggle too much with the min-maxing. We will just play and have fun. I would like to get a tears upgrade. I've just done a greed run as Eden. And we ended up with two lumps of coal. Several tears upgrades and tech two. No, tech point five, sorry. Uh, and the entire run was spent with uh, telepathy for dummies, which is interesting because telepathy for dummies with the technology is great. Uh, and with tech two, after a few damage upgrades, just owns everything. So, what I'm trying to say is I've just come from a very privileged position, uh, which I'd like to maintain. We can't do anything about our cursed room. I don't think uh, Notch Dax will break blue fires. And I'm not going to try because it will hurt. So we'll carry on. Look how many spirit hearts we've got. If we do badly on... I don't even understand what happened there. We won't talk about it. If we do badly on this run, floor... Floor. Let's go with floor. If we do badly on this floor, I'll probably be a bit salty with myself, but I'm reasonably sure we're guaranteed to deal with the devil unless everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. And this is one of those particular runes that can be a bit of a nightmare. But with our uh, small rock, which was a very, very valuable upgrade at the time we got it. It's always a valuable upgrade, really, but at that time, very useful. Uh, I think we're going to be able to tear through the enemies before they tear through us. Since that's obviously the shot, we'll go back here and use our no keys that we haven't got. Ah, that would be a problem. On the library. So we can find a key, we'll go back to the library, I guess. Or we could maybe get into the shop with a bomb. Can't. That surprises me. That's exactly the place you'd expect to find a, uh, a secret room. You know, three surrounding rooms, no, no inaccessible walls on any of those rooms. It's a, it's your classic, you know, it's your vanilla textbook place you find a secret room. Probably one there to be fair. Any tinted rocks? No. Not that. I didn't even mention. I just picked it up. But it's done as well. It has found us both uh, the small rock and spirit heart. So, much as Notch Dax is not a great pickup, and it costs us a few points to get it in the first place, it seems to have done as well, and I think I'm going to keep hold of it. Uh, at least for a while. Bloody Baby, uh, Bloody Baby, Headless Baby 2, as well, rather than Headless Baby the second, Esquire. Uh, it's also a reasonably decent early game item, because so many enemies at this stage of the game are on the ground. I think I've used it recently and said much the same thing. You know, you, you, you run around a bit, do really well. Uh, I'm trying to find a room that's worth using the notch stacks on, but we'll see maybe there's a lot of rocks in here. It's the Widow, so there is not. But, uh, yeah, thanks. I like the Widow. The Widow, uh, A, is on the ground. B, seems to be able to jump a lot further than I thought it could. And C, lands on its own spawn. Not Krampus. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, we've been here before, but we are going either up or down, so we will just take this. There's no point taking the shovel, because we're not actually going as far as the mom fight in order to make the shovel worth taking. Make sense? 
Let's um, smash up these rocks and hope to get in a cool space or some. Some people may have done and got really strong book, maybe book shadows, book of revelations, that sort of thing. I think we're going to do quite well with our notch stacks, if I'm honest. Uh, or just take a little bit of damage on every single floor and slowly whittle yourself down until you're completely unsurvivable. And your original sandbagging is comes true. Ah, that's nice. I'll go in here because uh, it's probably worth it. It doesn't seem worth it necessarily. No, we'll blow him up. Blowing up these particular chaps. Or chapettes, I don't know. These particular non-gender specific uh, demonic beggars. Help. Gives you a better chance to deal with the devil. Obviously we took our deal with the devil on the previous floor. Which means that our... I think our chances are currently at 25%. Because we haven't taken red heart damage, except for the damage that we gave to the demon judgment just now, but that doesn't count as red heart damage as we all know when it comes to calculating your deal with the devil. How did I know the secret room was there? When you've played a game as long as I have, kid, you just know. Uh, let's not even bother with that, but we will see if these have anything in them. No. So the tears upgrade. We have the pact, which is a good damage upgrade. We have the torn photo, which is an amazing tears upgrade. And we have so many spirit hearts that the only reason we won't get deals with the devil on this run, at least in the foreseeable future is that we were just destined not to. Uh, we'll do our boss first since we're next to it, but we do want to go and check out our item room even though... Whoa! <laughs> Part of me just sort of realised what was happening. Dodged a bullet, literally. Even though uh, it could be shit and not worth picking up, we should check it out anyway, and it will slow us down, but whatever. I walked out without even checking for a deal with the devil, which was very, very... Inoptimal, unoptimal, less than optimal. It was poor. Uh, I should, I will be kicked out of the uh, Isaac content creator community, of which I should not have spoken. Uh, it doesn't exist. Forget I mentioned it. Because not checking for a deal with the devil at that stage is. I could have walked out on the deal with the devil and lost. We blew up the demon judgment in order to try and get a better one. So walking out as soon as you think you've got one. That uh, is a bit daft. A bit daft to say the least. Uh, sorry. Let's do this right. Pay some attention. Maybe I should have opened the other one. Yeah, there's a key. I was hoping to get a key. Um, mostly because we're going to use both keys on this floor. Ah, uh, sack of sack of bombs. Oh, a sack of pennies. I get those two confused. Hive mind. Uh, apparently, I'm picking up uh, charge baby, so not getting hive mind. <laughs> charge baby is fine. Don't get me wrong. Why didn't I use notched axe? I forgot I had it. Charge baby is fine, but every run is gonna want to be a guppy run, right? That's what we play for. That's the that's the enjoyment. That's the entertainment. That's that's the sucker. Not. S-U-C-K-E-R, but S-U-C-C. You know what I'm saying. Some pills. I can see forever is a decent pill. Infested is an okay pill. We've got two bad trip pills, which we don't want. Another I can see forever, and a telepills, which takes us all the way back across the map, so now we're really slow. Unfortunately, this is going to set us back in terms of boss rush. Um, Hive Mind Guppy is a tremendous combination. Hive Mind Nothing at all is not a great combination, but then again, Charge Baby, um, Notch Dax, also not brilliant. Oh yeah, we've been in there. Top. Uh, we might as well take this. What's the worst that could happen? Dark Bum, Little Chad, match made in heaven. We're not as slow as I thought. <coughs> Excuse me. We're not as slow as I thought. Let's use this. Let's us out, even though it doesn't cost us anything to get out. This is a bad trip. Yeah, I don't want that. Abel. Well, I'm not even going to pick it up. I'm going to min-max to the extent that Abel is not worth the points it costs to pick it up. Abel has been known to shoot bombs and also uh, enemy... Well, enemy bombs, I suppose. Into me. Uh, not to be confused with intimacy, Abel has not caused me intimacy, to my knowledge. Again, bum friend. It can pay out with consumables, but I could just buy those consumables with the coins that Bumfriend 
would otherwise take away from me. And I think, probably correctly, not to toot my own horn, but it's hard to feel like this is a, a bad assessment, that if Dunfriend has taken away all the coins, and he's going to take away all the points I would have got for picking up the coins. So, Dunfriend, no thank you. You cost me points in many levels, and that was just terrible, terrible damage. Probably should have smashed these and then tried to fight the bonies, but then I would have been smashing them around bonies. Ah, the crawl space. It was kind of what I was after, but I was also not going in for the shall I check for Tinter Drop game. Oh, Abel's back. Well, I'm so glad we fucking came down here. Jesus Christ. What would the, what would have been in there if I picked up Abel? How am I supposed to know that I'm supposed to pick up Abel to avoid getting some bullshit on a rare acquisition like the crawl space? Huh? Maybe we should go to the shop. Maybe we should go and open that boss trap chest. I don't know. We'll see how fast we are. What the heck hit me just now? Caves 2 at 10 minutes. Yeah, I was reasonably sure we were about to find our boss fight, so I didn't feel like measuring the time at that point was a bad idea, but I'm taking some silly damage on this floor. I'm getting that, um, there's a certain... Uh, level of complacency, I suppose, that comes from having a lot of tiers that look very big. Then They're big, but they're not hugely powerful. So, I mean, they're, they're powerful, don't get me wrong, I'm not suffering, but I feel like I'm more powerful than I appear to be, uh, which is causing me an issue because I'm just sort of charging around gung-ho, not really paying any attention to my own safety or anybody else's. Um, and of course, a, a child, a small child with a big weapon like this should be definitely, definitely feared or rather than respected. Let's get rid of these fires, and then we can concentrate on avoiding Krampus's bullshit. Look, Krampus is just a slightly more difficult... Um, oh, I don't know, slightly more difficult. And a slightly more equivalent Fallen, I suppose. It doesn't do half the bullshit that the Fallen does, like split into multiple pieces and bash you about. But then again, we could go to the shop. We could go to the shop on the next floor. Uh, then again, it doesn't charge you before it does the brimstone attack, so... Uh, I think we'll take it. Blue Baby's only friend can be really helpful to do damage across a room or for crowd control. Jesus Christ. That, that really threw me. Wow. Bottom, uh, Krampus' head. Oh, I don't like the new Krampus' head with the rotating thing, because you can't, um... You can't sort of... I guess... Accommodate it? Right, Blue Baby's only friend can do us some good here. Very, um, very strong thing. It's got some good damage behind it. I'll just use this straight away. The HP is probably more valuable. Uh, I guess if we'd kept it down to the womb or... Shit me. Did you see that? If we kept it down to the womb or something, then maybe we could have got some decent stuff out of uh, Pandora's box, but I'd rather have Gramps' head, to be honest with you. It's going to help us on some much more difficult rooms. Unless we can get a lot stronger without intentionally taking damage, that's going to be very helpful. So here's another so state of play. Another situation where Blue Baby's only friend is helpful. And yet another one. Although Lust is actually probably a little bit harder to deal with. We get infested. Oh, it's not bad. Now that we know about it, we can look for some poop, I guess, and get a bunch of spiders on our side. But Pill rotation is not really leaving me in awe overwhelmed with shock uh, as much as it could be. Another Blue Baby's Only Friend room because trying to shoot the back of these things is a lot harder than just leaving a Ludovico-esque device on top. I really would like Dark Bum. And I haven't done anything to squander my deals with the devil, we've just not been getting them. Oh, that's another spider which isn't my spider, so try not to get hit by spiders you thought were yours but turn out not to be. We could play the self-sacrifice room. I know they've been buffed. But I, I don't think with with the... What's happening? <laughs> with the daily meta shit going on, I don't think it's worth it. Relax. Relax. Well, now that we've got uh, some poop on the ground, we should probably go and find an infested pill. Right. Right, guys. Right, friends. There is a... We've got 17 bombs. How did we do that? Ooh, careful. Probably would have been a good time to use Kramps' head. Oh, <laughs> wasted my own bomb because I didn't know I was going to get that. Let's have a look in here. 
Uh, infinite bombs, though, that's fine. Kind of hoping to get maybe a guppy atom or two out of these things. And who could be bothered dealing with that room? Hands up. Now that they've got infinite bombs, I don't feel too badly about having used up, having sort of left behind the, um, the notched axe. We did really well on those. For the price of zero bombs, that was a very good investment, I think. Uh, I don't think any of this is worth it. We don't have a reroll, so we'll just leave. Probably a secret room here. Yeah. Points for that as well. Must not forget the points you get for uh, secret rooms. You don't lose points for using an uh, infinite bomb. Because it doesn't count as a consumable down. Alright, careful here. Boom. Done. More coins and a look upgrade. We're going decent decent speed right now. Uh, I'm not sure how to kite these enemies because they don't seem to be going in the direction I expected them to. Blue Baby's only friend is one of those toys where I'm never sure whether to use it or not. Um, like in this case, it could be actually worse than our tears. But then again, maybe it's better than our tears. I'm trying to bait Monstro 2 here into doing his shooty, but... Oh, I'm alive! I didn't take damage! <laughs> That's in... preposterous. Thank you for that. I'm guessing that was dropped by... Um... No deal with the devil again. I'm guessing that was dropped by our... Bzz baby there, but... We could probably take some time on one of these floors, but I'm, I'm often guilty of not realising that I should be going faster because the clock on the on the map between the levels is so far behind us. I think it's, it's fine, you know? We, oh, careful. What? Again? Something shoot me? I think something shot me, but I didn't see what it was. That's nice, though. Because uh, the clock's so far behind us, I'm thinking, you know, we've got plenty of time. Go for it. Uh, and then suddenly we're not <laughs> doing very well at all, and we miss Boss Rush. So I'm going to try and hedge my bets a little bit on that, and assume that Boss Rush is more valuable than getting every room sorted out. Which is absolutely true. It is more valuable than that. I'm going to put this here and concentrate on walking into fire. Uh, that's exactly what I meant to say. I wasn't going to say dodging and avoiding the shots. Nope, I was going to say walking into them. In fact, I think you're safe in this corner. Well, you're safe when the enemy's dead. That's no, no debate. No debate at all. Uh, probably not a secret room because we can't reach it. Right, where are you at? Take these things. How did you know? <laughs> How did you know I was going to be there? You fired. You appeared and then fired at a place where I wasn't. I swear that it fired at that place after I'd started moving towards... Uh, before I started moving towards it. It preempted my movement, which is absolutely genius. For AI to be that good that it can tell what I'm about to do before I can. Oof. Then again, it could have been a fluke. Making good time, good progress. I think Bus Rush is very, very likely for us. Uh, which is going to be some good points. And I think we're strong enough to beat Hush as well, which... Ooh, the soul is decent. Apart from the soul hearts that it gave us, which we've been calling spirit hearts all this time because of Scumbag Northern Lion. Excuse me, let me in. Um, here's another perfect Blue Baby's Only Friend room. Apart from those, it gives us a... Oh, brilliant, bad trip, perfect. Uh, it gives us a, a deflection thingy whereby bullets go around us, basically. It's just, it's Matrix shit. Don't even think about it, don't question it, just take it. Look! <laughs> I don't know whether to move on this room or not. You know? Do I stand still and try and react to where they are? No, apparently not. Because then you get trapped in a corner. I can't stand still and react to where they are. And I can't move around because they'll walk into me. I'll walk into where they spawn because I'm not paying any fucking attention. Well, our damage bonus is going to be poor, but we've got so much HP as a result of it. I mean, whatever, am I right? What am I looking for? Don't really know. Something other than bad trip would be fine. Black heart, also fine. Maybe a secret room in one of these places if it's not too much trouble. I know it. It's... I know it could be a, a bit difficult game for you to muster the strength to give me a secret room in places where they're likely to be. But ooh, Isaac's room, you say? We'll bomb here and we'll bomb here and we'll find the other enemy. But still not dead. 
Thank you. We'll bomb here twice. Take this up. Doing alright. Hopefully, a clean room. It is a clean room. That's good. That gives us a crawl space. We've got full health, which is surprising to me because of how bad I am at this game. We don't have a trinket. We might as well take it. It will allow us to get um, consumables we couldn't otherwise reach, which therefore will contribute to our high score, which is going to be amazing. Uh, but you can see that we're very running low on time. I know we're on depths too, so we've, but we've still got to get a press on. Let's see if we can get these enemies into a similar position and therefore... I was going to cramp his head then, but I accidentally blackhearted them, so... I guess the effect is achieved even if it wasn't the most uh, ideal way of going about it. Means to an end, I guess. Here we are, boss rank. Perfect. Uh, why not use Blue Baby's only friend, I guess. So I think we've lost our opportunity to get um, BFFs. We should try and find the shop. We haven't found the shop, have we? No. I'm hoping it's just one room away. And if it's not one room away, I'm coming back. It is one room away. Good. Perfect. Uh, no. All right, whatever. Let's go in here, try and get the mom fight done in 30 seconds, which is uh, possibly difficult to achieve, especially if we consider that there's an opportunity that... Um, oh, okay, whatever. Well, I was going to say that we got a deal with the devil, but we didn't get a deal with the devil, and we did it within a couple of seconds, so... Whatever you were going to say, fuck you, I guess, is what the game was telling us. Uh, I don't know what Serpent's Kiss does, but I do know what Mysterious Liquid does, and I like it. So we'll take Mysterious Liquid. And we start it before 20 minutes, which is unexpected, unanticipated, we should say. Get over here. I don't like this thing being on our screen, so we're going to have to get rid of it. Oh shit, creep. Wow. I'll tell you what, any enemy that's producing creep on the level that Pestilence does is a great way of it, of the, you know, the boss pairing, controlling space on the screen, because if I couldn't have got away from... What's over here? Where's our other one? Oh, right. If I couldn't have got away from the the damage that the Forsaken was going to do with its Brimstone attack, I would have been screwed. I can shoot over gaps, but you can't jump over them. I guess that works in the World of Isaac mechanics. What's the other one? Bloat. We should, uh, we should probably Krampus' head blow off. Thanks, fucking Krampus, you dick. I need to get rid of... They're both teleporting and they both have brimstone attacks, which is very upsetting to me. I guess we could use Blue Baby's Only Friend. Where are you? There you are. We could put Blue Baby's Only Friend on uh, the bloke. There it is. And try and avoid Monstro 2 by being on the other side of the screen. Because of the gap in the middle? Oh, that was bad. How? What? <laughs> What's happening? Because of the gap in the middle... Where's my Blue Baby at? Where's my baby at, baby at, baby at? Rebs! Da, 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 da. These flies, though! Jesus Christ. Look, I'm just trying to do a simple task. But Monstro 2 is producing so many flies that I can't deal with it. I was trying to say, we keep Monstro 2 on the other side of the screen, he can't jump over the gap and get us, but the flies can get over the gap, and I wasn't paying enough attention to deal with those sons of the bitches. We're just going to have to leave Blue Baby's only friend behind, I think, for this uh, boss fight. If it shows up like it did just now, ideal. You know, it's, it's on its... Oh, I'm stuck on a poop. If it shows up... No, I'm stuck on a rock. Jesus. We're taking a lot of stupid damage right now, and I'm not proud of it. These poops! Get rid of these poops! No one needs them! It's lying around. It's slip. We'll get stuck. It's even worse. The only thing worse than slipping on a turd is actually getting stuck behind a pile of it. Actually, that sounds pretty bad. So, yeah, I was going to say we should leave our Blue Baby game behind and Blue Baby's only friend game behind and just sort of try and deal with the situation as it comes, but apparently I'm incapable of avoiding rocks as well, so. Uh, this is going to be a problem because that thing has a brimstone attack on the other side of it, so we get rid of that quick. And don't let this thing. What? What was that? I'm sure that was my creep. Was that not my creep? I don't think that was my creep. Game. You're really doing my head in today. What now? <laughs> See, this thing's landed on me. Where did it come from? Oh, my goodness. 
I know I sound salty. I'm not actually salty, although I'm a bit salty about that. That was supposed to be a perfect blue, uh, perfect Krampus' head. Where are these attacks coming from? I don't know which enemy to deal with first. It's a good thing we picked up the uh, the dagger thingy item. I forget what it's called, but I've really been helping out by making them attack each other. You can jump over gaps, which is news to me. So I'll just try and get rid of you. I didn't. This is turning out to be extremely difficult for some reason. I'm, I'm perplexed by the difficulty that I'm having <laughs> beating this boss rush. Oh god, now it's Carrion Queen. Whose uh, attacks we can only avoid by pure fluke. Now what's jumping around? Oh god, it's the fucking adversary. Luckily, we managed to beat Carrion Queen in record time and completely by accident. That's another uh, blue baby type gig. Is a uh, Carrion Queen because you just put Blue Baby on a bit that you can't hit, and you can't hit it because Carrion Queen has this bullshit armor at the front. Uh, but apparently this time we managed to beat it without. Oh, hello! Another pair of enemies that are annoying together. More creep, man! I'm stuck. I'm standing on creep that I literally can't see. We have to be more careful right now. I don't know why I can't see it. I'm. Being genuine with you, I did not see any of this creep. So I'm going to have to sort of recalibrate myself. And there's a red poop there just to piss me right off. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing that at all. If I pay attention, it's there. You know, it's in front of me. whoop de do there's some creep. For once, I appreciate the rotation of Krampus's head. You can see the shots bending away from us. That's the soul effect. Pure and true. That's why we like the soul. Right, good. There's another one. Wow, I can't believe how much damage we've taken just through sheer inability to notice attacks coming in at us. And we've got to be careful with the soul as well because it's a somewhat like, um, what am I thinking of? It's somewhat like when attacking Lagurdi and you shoot it as it's coming towards you and it deflects itself into your position. The soul can deflect bullets that you're trying to dodge into the position you're trying to dodge into. Which is worse than if it hadn't deflected them at all. But it could be very useful on fights like Mom's Heart. Um, because, obviously, Mom's Heart does the bullet hell thing. You just stand still, hope for the best, cross your fingers. Have you notice how Little Horn is always paired with Loki? Wherever you go. It's like Loki invented it. Child of Loki. Oh, oh, let's just do this. We'll leave you here until you've got something better to do. Loki has no other plans, so I guess we'll just stay. Loki? Loki doki. Haha, <laughs> that was funny. Oh, dearie me, where have you gone now? Enemies that teleport literally across the room. And if that... <laughs> you see where he ended up? I couldn't hit him with my tears in that position. Oh my god. Now what's happening? I'm getting hit by stuff I do not understand. Okay, I, I'm not trying to make excuses here, but I cannot fathom where my damage is coming from right now. Uh, so you'll have to excuse the fact that it's happening, but I, I can't avoid it. I just don't know what's going on. Uh, mm, Mask of Infamy is one of those. Get off me. Let's try and make it run into this poop, I guess. Maybe it's a blue baby job. Die. Oh, my Mask of Infamy itself is quite capable of taking damage as a result of walking over spikes, etc. The, the mask itself, I should say. But we have to sort of convince it to. I'm trying to chase it with Blue Baby's Only Friend, but Blue Baby's Only Friend seems to be marginally faster than it, which means I have to be very careful about where I... I have to react to it changing direction, which is not going to happen. Oh, but of course we can leave creep on the ground for it. Oh, we're done. <gasps> I'm so surprised. <laughs> I genuinely am. Do we want Book of Shadows over Krampus' head? No. It's a hard decision, because they're both very valuable. But I think being able to clear a room, even though it does that really frustrating rotation. Uh, we've got three minutes to get to the hush fight, which I'm going to suggest is not likely. That was a very, very difficult boss rush. Just because of all the stupid damage I was taking that I couldn't understand. 
Uh, maybe we'll save the Joker card. Oh, you didn't do the fucking rotation this time when I was sort of <laughs> when I was accommodating it, compensating for it, moving around. We didn't do it, and our damage when we haven't taken damage ourselves is poor, very poor. So I'm guessing we're just going to have to say no to Hush, unless we find maybe a um, uh, an Emperor card and a blank card to go with it, probably. Um, so, that's a shame, but it's not the end of the world. It probably just means we will be 9,000 points lower than we could have been. Well, 5,000. 5,000 points is not a big difference on such a long run as this. But I think all of our damage penalty is going to be the, the big killer to our score. And the fact that... I don't know why it took so long to do boss rush. Boss rush does not normally take that long. You've seen me do boss rush in, like, two minutes. With that much damage, you know, with not shit game. Maybe I'm just having a bad day. It happens. You know, we all have bad days. We all have good days. Uh, that was obviously the product of a, maybe a bad day. Not not a bad day in the sense of, you know, I, I hate my job. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a Saturday. And I can't complain about a Saturday because it's been a perfectly okay Saturday. I didn't even wake up until half past twelve. How can you complain about a day you didn't wake up until half past twelve on? On which? We could go in there and joke her out. No, we can't joke her out, actually, because the joker card will take us to a deal with the devil, and deal with the devil, deal with the devil, will put us straight back into the curse room. So we might be able to bomb our way into it, however. Yes! Brilliant. Very much a fan of this concept. And this concept. We've got enough bombs to maybe look for a spirit heart. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Well, we looked. We've lost a lot of survivability as a result of taking all that silly damage on the boss rush. And all the silly damage was taken, and I'm not trying to, you know, be that guy, but there was a lot of damage taken by sources that I couldn't recognise. I'm just going to do that. Yeah, that seems to work really well. Again, Blue Baby's only frame can be very useful in certain situations, and that was one of them. Alright. Well, we've already missed Hush, so that sucks. If I had the choice between doing Hush and Boss Rush, or Boss Rush, uh, which I apparently did, I would still choose Boss Rush, because A, it's way more interesting, and B, it's a lot easier, essentially. Uh, I'm not trying to suggest that Boss Rush is in any way a simple fight, certainly not that one. Probably don't want the flight, even though it's an option. <gasps> what did I ask for? It's like Christmas. It's halfway to Christmas in just this month, so maybe it's just an early Christmas present. We've already beaten Krampus, so we've got rid of the negative Christmas spirit, so there you go. Devil brings us exactly what we asked for, which is how Christmas always goes in my family. I'm just going to leave this here. <laughs> if you accidentally walk into it, that's your problem. Again, Blue Baby's only friend can do us such a benefit, so I'm glad I picked it up. Well, we don't need to rush anymore. The world card, we'll just use that. We can see where we're going. As a result, it doesn't really help in any re meaningful way. Um, because, you know, the, it's the world card. We're not going to go any fast. We're going to go faster as a result of it, but speed was not really of the essence, I suppose is what I'm saying there. But it does allow us to find easy this this room here, which lets us pick this up for whatever that's worth. Help! Just do this! Just do this! If you're going to use Krampus' head on any room, it's this room, if I'm honest. Right, where's the other one? Oh, a bit of a panic there, but we're okay. And we got our battery back, actually, so why not use Krampus' head? Perfect. Harper, you've got me a uh, spider. Oh, cool. I didn't want one, I was just saying. Jeez. I have to be a dick about it. Another room where that is absolutely worthwhile, in my opinion. I'm going to go and try this chest-shaped room. We've got plenty of keys. Hmm. Another room I'd like to use Kramps' head on, but at least it's not difficult, it's just long. 
So, can't imagine we'll be too, ranking too highly um, on this in terms of points because we're not going to get any further than everybody else. We are going to the lamb, and to be honest, I was saying I'm trying not to. I don't like to um, sandbag the run if I can avoid it. Well, I've been getting hit a lot. <laughs> we'll take this. I don't like to sandbag the run, but at the same time, you've got to be realistic about your chances. And when we've taken a lot of damage, like we had on Boss Rush, we had a lot of damage in response because we're Samson, and that's how Samson works. Um, hell with that bomb. But as you can see, if we haven't taken any damage at all, we're hardly hitting. You know, we're not. We're not in the really in the running. This is a Crampton's head floor room. Ah, oh, I knew that was going to happen. I didn't realise that I was going to be stuck in the corner there. If I'm perfectly honest, I hadn't hadn't fully internalised the shape of the, the hole. But look how long these things are taking to die. What what caused that? Everything to stop just now, please. Just can we talk about this? Everything literally just stopped for no reason. No. No one was there. All the baddies just paused in their flight. Which itself, hello, they're flying. You can't just stop. It's not how it works. Uh, okay. Question marks. Full health. Well, probably not a bad trip pill unless they've changed it so you can have the same pill twice. Uh, this is probably going to be fun. We'll just leave Blue Baby's only friend in the way. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, now we'll shoot it. All the money's coming out of this one. Oh, Jesus, I'm stuck on a... This is happening a lot today as well. Really not paying attention. My my mind is not in the game. That's all I can say. I'm I'm not there. I'm not with it. Uh, it's not that I didn't want to play. Otherwise, I wouldn't have played. You know, I've done that before. I'm just I'm just not seeing things. My, I've gone blind. I've gone into here without having a full charge on Kramps's head. So this is going to take longer than anticipated. But you can see the soul doing its job. That's pretty nice. I'm hoping we can just stand still and let Sol do its job for this fight as well. Yeah, these are slow enough. It will stop shots that are coming directly at you, as you've noticed there. But not if they're... Mm, not if they're too... Fast is the word. I know fast is not a common word in, in common English vernacular, so... You can understand why it took me a while to bring it to mind. Pull it out of the old, uh, the old thesaurus reserves. No deal with the devil here, so we will just use the Joker card and get rid of it. And we've got Mom's knife. At one heart, I have to take it. It does interfere. We got we lost toxic splash, mysterious liquid, because there's no splashing anymore. But it's so much more powerful than we were before we took it. I don't want that though. We had to take it. We were doing really badly, on just in terms of damage. Although we're still doing really badly in terms of damage, which is making me wonder what's going on. Excuse me? How are you still alive after all this? Good. Wow. Oh, hell with the bombs. You can see how badly we're doing based on the fact that... Well, you can see how much damage we're doing to the Dark One here. The dark too, I suppose. It's difficult to call yourself the Dark One when you're there with another one of yourself. So me calling myself the Isaac player on a co-op game. You're not the, are you? There's obviously more than one. Dark Bunny is probably going to be the only reason we stay alive in this entire game. Uh, I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more valuable than a troll bomb I can't run away from, if you don't mind. Well, we got two HP out of Dark Bun as a result, so... That, that troll bomb was faster than me, right? I, I wasn't just saying that to avoid embarrassment. If I wanted to avoid embarrassment, I would not have uploaded this video. Uh, and that's a fact. <laughs> I've had some embarrassing runs that I've not uploaded. But, eh, I don't mind uploading an embarrassing run. What I mind is when everything about the run is... I can't get rid of these bombs! Stop making them! Oh my Jesus Christ. Look how slow we are. We're slower than a troll bomb. That is a huge problem. We can't deal with this. This is not sustainable at all. You know, the damage is fine. But we cannot run away from these troll bombs. So if they're going to keep showing up, we are dead. There's just no two ways about it. 
Whew. Well, we're not done very well, let's be honest. We failed to get to Hush, which is basically an imperative for dailies. And we took a lot of damage on Boss Rush. And we're very weak, and we can't run away from troll bombs, and we can walk straight into bonies, so... Oh, just what's happening? What's happening up in my brain today? It's just not... Not responding as usual. Okay, it is responding as usual. Sometimes we have better days than this, though, and that's what I'm sort of assuming is the norm. It's, it's dishonest, I will grant you, to make out that I'm doing worse than the norm. Ah, that... Strange, strange things are afoot at the Circle K. Okay. I was not in a position where I would expect to have been stuck on that rock. And yet stuck I was on that rock. Oh my god, you did no damage. How is this a thing? What are you doing? When was the last time you shot me that many times in a row? Let me guess, it was never. Oh yeah, good answer. Again with this shit. Well, we made it past Satan. <laughs> Some part of me inside is not anticipating things I should be anticipating, and that's just what's going on right now. That's the way it is. Yeah, I was really expecting to be owned by uh, a chasey type troll bomb, but... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Die. 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 That one shot that one. That's really useful. <laughs> uh, okay, good. And a battery. Fine. Uh, this is the annoying horn that does the diagonal shots, so it should be okay for us, as long as we can get rid of it quickly. Or we'll just use Blue Baby's only friend, which is causing flashing, which is making my head feel weird. I guess we'll use this. Dark Bum, I really need the HP out of you, man. I know you're trying to help, but you ain't. <laughs> it's not working. At least we can take these heads out. One shot, right? Are you dead yet? Yeah. Okay, that was that was okay. At least we survived that. Mom's knife is super amount of damage, but it's really difficult to actually get on with, especially when those fucking um those troll bombs show up and you can't shoot them. You get no knockback. I got nothing. Got them. Ugh. Look, I told you, dart them with... Oh shit, help. Yeah, that happened. With, uh... Dart them with... Little Chad, Little Chad, Dart Bum. Good a combination, provided you don't royally screw it all up. Health. Oh, thank you. We just need to get out of here alive, basically. We need to make it to the lamb and just not die. <laughs> I think the soul will help with the lamb. What is happening? Either the soul is working or it's not. I mean, come on, soul. Man. This is not uh, a good time. Try and hit it. Try and hit it. Actually hit it. Oh, we're dead. He sucked me in. I was trying to shoot and he sucked me in. Trying to... Oh. I think we're having a slump. Okay, let's just call it a slump. We had fun. We got all the way to the dark room on a... Piss poor damage run, if I'm honest. And there we are, 3400th. I'm sure we'll pick up later uh, when we actually start paying attention and playing the game as it's supposed to be played rather than just sort of bouncing off of enemies like Pinball. Remember, Isaac, not Pinball. Isaac, not Pinball. Shoot the enemies with your tears. Don't run into the enemies and hope they die. So I'll see you next time, whenever that turns out to be. But until then, thank you for watching.